In this video, we're going to go over how to avoid the spam folder. So this is one of the most important videos here in this section here. What we're going to cover is essentially the different things that you can do to make sure that your emails are actually landing in the inbox, right? Because if you're not setting up your emails properly, if you're not using the right type of wording, the right type of structure, if you're not taking the proper precautions, then your emails that you're working so hard to put together are going to end up landing in the spam folder, right? So it's very important that you take the proper precautions, you be proactive, and you make sure that you do everything in your power to avoid the spam folder by implementing these various techniques and tips that we're going to go over in this particular lesson. So let's go ahead and jump into the how to avoid the spam folder lesson. Okay, so avoiding the spam filter is crucial because if your emails don't get delivered, then your subscribers, your potential clients won't receive your emails, right? And you can spend you know, a lot of time, energy, and resources developing your emails, making sure that you, you know, get all the right contacts, you have all the right messaging, all the things that are going to allow you to send these emails, right? All the different tools. But if you don't land in the inbox, then it's going to be very difficult for your subscribers to actually receive them and take action on what you're wanting them to do, right? So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're avoiding spammy language. Language such as buy now, click here, last chance to win, why pay more, you know, free, cash, using money signs, anything that has to do with like offers that you see in your typical spam folder where people are trying to send you like, you know, things for, you know, Viagra or Cialis or whatever, right? There's always going to be like, you know, all these gimmicky types of phrases in there, you know, buy now, click here, last chance to win or enter to win a unique prize or whatever that may be, right? You want to stay away from that because the spam filters will actually pick that up, okay? And then avoid using super urgent phrases and excess use of punctuation. So if you're trying to make a point, right, and you want to have an exclamation point, that's one thing, right? But if you're having four to five different exclamation points, you have multiple, you know, question marks, right? You want to avoid this because it can really put you in the spam folder there, right? Because you're, you know, not coming across like a normal type of conversation, a normal type of email. So avoid excessive use of punctuation. And then one of the simplest things you can do is literally test your emails out before sending them out to your list. So if you got a list of, let's say, several hundred, right, and you're going to send an email blast, then test out the email and send it out to yourself or to, you know, some of your friends or whoever that may be. But make sure that you're testing it out so that you can see that they're coming in. They're not going into the spam folder, right? So test them out before you're sending them out. And then watch your text to image ratio. A lot of times, especially if you're sending the emails to the cold audience, images are a red flag because you don't know the individual, they don't know you, uh, there's no real connection there, and the spam filters can pick that up. And they frown upon that because if you're sending emails to people that you don't really know, and you have a bunch of images but very little text, or really vice versa, even if you have warm audience, and you just have a bunch of images, right? And you have very little text, it still runs the probability of it going into the spam folder. So make sure that you're watching the text to image ratio. And then also watch your link to text ratio because the thing is here, a lot of times spammers will send emails with little or no text and a simple link. So make sure that your HTML text, right? Your anchor text link is not that much in comparison to your text, right? If you have just a couple lines and a couple different links, then that could raise a red flag. So make sure that you don't have a ton of links. Maybe you have one that says, you know, go here to find out about XYZ, but you want to try to avoid the click here or buy now type of links and try to avoid having a ton of links, right? Maybe one at the max two links and have sufficient amount of text uh, to link ratio in there, right? You want to have a good amount of text and a minimal amount of links. I would say no more than two, okay, at the most. That's going to be here for 
how to avoid the spam filter, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, do give us a thumbs up and share it. Also, check out amazing discounts and offers on our premium courses in the description below.